what's going on gang it's another wig install wig review on this glueless bobby boss wig in the color sapphire this gorgeous blue is perfect for your winter icy look so you can slay for all of the christmas dinners all the christmas gatherings so we're gonna go ahead and jump right on into the tutorial starting off with this raggedy twa that i got going on please don't mind we're just gonna go ahead and add some water get some moisture going on and add in some leave-in conditioner excuse me as you can see i am going off on the story tangent while i was recording unfortunately while i was recording my audio was not recording so i did all that talking for nothing Never you mind, because I would just be doing a voiceover instead of telling my story. So we're just prepping our hair to prepare our wear TWA for this protective style wearing this wig. Now, usually when I wear my wigs, they are a one day and I take them off at the end of the night kind of thing. But I wanted to try to prep my hair and glue it down. I'm sorry, I didn't even glue it down. I used some got to be spray and I wanted to at least be able to hold this wig down for at least two days. So I'm just showing you how I prep my wig to wear for at least two days using no freaking glue. Now this wig is a 13 by seven lace frontal and let me tell you the lace on this wig is stunning it is completely transparent i mean hd lace you can see literally everything it looks so scalp like i was amazed by this lace and it's not that hard plastic digging into your scalp kind of lace very nice soft and gorgeous so i didn't have to do any prepping with the lace like adding any tinting or makeup or anything like that i legit was able to put this wig on with my skin colored wig cap and pretty much go so i do not use glue when i lay down my frontals i use just some simple got to be spray spray it on there try to like work it in there with my comb and then I take a nice silk scarf and wrap it around. If you're wondering what I might be going off about, so it was it was about my terrible Monday that I had. So quick little story time. I'm just run through this story real quick. So Mondays are like the worst day of the week for me. It's the beginning of the work week. After I've had a wonderful weekend or I had a busy weekend, whatever. Either way, I have to go back to work and it's just dreadful for me. I just I cannot stand going to work. So I was running late per usual on my Mondays. I seem to always freaking run late. So I'm heading out and um, I had to take the girls to school since we all woke up late. I had to drop them off at school and I end up being late to work, of course. So as I drop off my daughter from school, I'm taking it, helping her taking all her books and her book bag, lunch, all that good stuff, trying to be the good mom because I know that she's late. So I'm trying to help her, you know, settle into getting ready for class a little bit easier. So we get in there and I head to her desk and she has this packet sitting on there and it's for the parents, you know, to review all their tests and stuff like that. And let me tell you, Kalia, it, it, they weren't good grades. They were not good grades. They were not acceptable grades for my household. So I kind of gave her that, you know, I'm gonna kill you when you get out of school, death stare, you know, that kind of, because she, it's, it's a church school. The school she attends is in a church. So, you know, I can't really, act out like I yours usually would. So I just kind of like backed off and just gave her that stare like, you know, we gonna talk about this when you come home. So I was a little teed off about that. So I tried to call my mom to try to blow up some scenes. So as I'm heading back to my car, walking through the parking lot, this guy approaches me Granted, I just said I was running late. So that means I'm not looking my best. I didn't have time to put my makeup on and my hair was just not, you know, it wasn't the best either. Nothing about me was the best. I was running late and it's a freaking Monday. Mondays are so freaking ghetto. Either, anyways, back to the story. So as I'm walking to my car, this guy approaches me and he's just like, hey, you need a barber? 
And at first I didn't like really understand what he was saying because it kind of said it kind of fast, you know, country folk. We kind of talk real fast and we like run three words into one word. So I was just like, huh, excuse me, like what? And he was just like, you need a barber, you know, your, your head. And let me tell you, that one little sentence took me out. I was just like, I'm, I can't, I can't do it anymore. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. So my mom is on the phone and she hears me talking to somebody. So she was just like, who are you talking to? So I told like, I get in the car, you know, and I'm like, kind of like, I don't know how to handle public embarrassment. So I just kind of like, uh-huh, yeah, you know, and he tells me that he has a barbershop somewhere around the corner that I should go and get my hair cut done. Now, as you saw me in the beginning of the video, that's that that was pretty much how I looked when I was taking my kids to school because I already said I was running late. I had planned on putting a hat on and I was just gonna call it a day. But after he approached me like that, I ended up just like calling out and just going home and fixing myself because I just felt so bad. I felt so hard that that man had the nerve to walk up to Like, I'm trying to grab my hair out, sir. I don't need you judging me on why my hair looks like shit right now. Like, don't, don't do that. Don't, and it's a Monday, freaking Monday. So I get in the car, you know, a little embarrassed cause it kind of said it loud, like other parents was around. So I'm just like, okay, whatever. I get in the car, I'm like, you know what? I could really use a Starbucks coffee right now. Let me just go, go to Starbucks get me a toasted chocolate mocha frappuccino with some extra red sprinkles on top and maybe that'll make me feel better you know so because i was like i hadn't even had my coffee yet and i got people approaching me talking about i need a haircut let me calm down let me calm down it's okay so i get in the starbucks line short line which was amazing because usually around that time starbucks the line is wrapped around the freaking building so i get in there minimum weight I get my frappuccino, pop open that thing, and oh my goodness, if it wasn't the best tasting frappuccino I ever had in my life. So I was just like, okay, this day is turning around. Monday is finally gonna get better, it's okay. We're gonna be good, we're gonna be able to make this week work. Cause I was ready to like call out for the whole week. Like I was just like, you know what? Forget Mondays, we, we just gonna just, we'll, we'll, I'll see y'all next week. I can't even do it. So I'm driving home, I, had, I, I even bought me a banana bread, you know, a little heated banana bread from Starbucks to go with my delicious frappuccino. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna wait till I get home so I can like sit down and savor this because I need to savor this. I don't wanna be driving and drinking and eating at the same time, right? So I pull up to the driveway and my husband, I had also got my husband some coffee too since I was on my way back home. Pull up in the driveway and I get out, start grabbing all my stuff. Tell me why I dropped my frappuccino on the drive through pavement. I mean, and not only did I drop it, it legit busted wide open. Like my frappuccino legit exploded all over my pants and on the inside of my car. And I was just like, you know what? We just gonna call out for the whole month. We just gonna just, I'ma call my mama supervisor and be like, you know what? don't look for me until next year because i just i couldn't i just couldn't i got insulted from my hair i couldn't even enjoy my coffee i just i, I didn't even eat my banana bread i was just like you know what the hell with this like i can't enjoy no banana bread without some good coffee like that was the whole point of me <sighs> so that 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 was what i was ranting about earlier because it was it was it was a hard it was a difficult Monday so I ended up coming home and doing this video because I just needed something to be like nah sis you a bad bitch today you ain't, you ain't ugly it's okay your hair is in the the process of growing out and it's in that awkward stage where you can't do nothing it's okay we just gonna put this badass wig on fix our makeup and our face and that, that did make me feel a little bit better because this wig was bomb as hell. I was I was like, dang girl, you look, you look good. I was over, I look at her. She don't look nothing like that girl in the in the beginning of the video, do she? She don't. She she that came a long way. So I needed this. I needed this to kind of boost my um my self-esteem because it was hard for it was hard for your girl. It was hard. I, I just had to take the whole Monday off. Just throw throw the whole Monday away. 
Throw all the Mondays away. I swear, Monday is the most ghetto day out the whole week. It is just pure trifling. It should be no reason why I should get out my bed after a wonderful weekend and have somebody approach me about my hair. Like, and then drop my coffee. You know, that's an $8 coffee, y'all. It's talking about mad. I was, I was livid. So anyways, back to the tutorial on me doing my quick get ready with me. So, to the man who approached me and asked me if I needed a barber, no, I do not. This wig is considered to be glueless. I, I, I wouldn't. I would not. I would not go out the door with something to uh, secure the frontal part because there's like no combs or anything to secure down except for what's in the back. Um, and the part goes pretty deep, so all of this is nothing but lace. It's, it does have a strap in the back for you to be able to secure it for it to not be glueless. I love the mesh on this lace. like legit looks like scalp and as you can see as I parted throughout it I'm not about to do it again but as I parted throughout it you could see frontal the frontal really looks very scalp like I will say that now um be very careful with your wig hat because you can see everything under this wig so this is a nice throw on and style kind of wig for me where I don't have to do a whole lot of work to customize it and adjust it. So it wasn't a whole lot of customizing for me. I really, really like it. I love this color. I love bob wigs. I have an alarming amount of bob wigs in legit every color that I can find. But since this is a synthetic wig, um, it does shed. I did experience a lot of shedding when brushing and combing it out and I still am pulling um, hairs every now and then a stray hair will fall out um and it does have a lot of flyaway going on so i would definitely recommend spritzing if you find the part that you want to wear the style in definitely spritz around the outside area because you will experience a bunch of flyaways i won't say it tangles it doesn't really tangle too badly other than my initial putting it on and brushing it out that was about the most i experienced with tangle but yeah it does it does shed, but I feel like that's kind of like a given with any kind of synthetic wig you're going to experience shedding. I won't say it's excessive. I feel like it's just your moderate amount. Probably bring a brush with you if you're going to wear this out for more than a couple of hours so that you do, you know, brush it out and get rid of that excessive shedding. So this was a Bobby Boss glueless wig, lace wig. This is in the color Sapphire, TC4 Sapphire. Um, and as you can see, you have free parting. It even talks about that HD lace, very transparent lace. And it even talks about how it has the band for you to be able to adjust it so you can wear it glueless and you don't have to worry about gluing it down. I purchased it from my local beauty supply store. Um, and I believe it was $60. I wanna say I spent 60 or $70 for this wig. I definitely wear this style for a night out, going out to eat, or any kind of special event, but not to grocery shopping. This is not one of my, what I consider a grocery shop wig. My grocery shop wig or gas station wig is that wig you just throw one and run out the door real quick. This is not one of those wigs. Definitely a must in your collection of Bob wigs. Thank you guys for watching another Pop Pop Sisters YouTube tutorial. We will see y'all on our next video. Be safe and be blessed.